So first off, I know that you're still kind of ramping back up. Is that fair to say you've kind of been limited to like one inning primarily, but you got to go deeper today and get stretched out a little yes. bit. What's the process been like, and how were you able to, to work successfully multiple innings today? Yeah, so it, it's been a long road, I'll tell you that. Um, but we're here. Um, still still working. I have a lot of things to work on after seeing that the fastball today. But, um, you know, it's been tough, but we're feeling good, and hopefully it's the better is yet to come. Was it part of the game plan going into game two that you were going to be the guy that replaced Dino, or how did that all play out? Yeah, the last two weeks, that was my plan, um, was to go in after Dino. Uh, last week, our pitchers did a phenomenal job, so I didn't get to get that chance, but um, Clay Clay let me know that I was going after Dino, and that's, that's what it ended up being. My question for you, uh, Ian, is how do you feel, I guess, selfishly and unselfishly about being back there on the bump full time? How do you feel like personally that you're finally pitching again and how do you feel that you can contribute to the Griffins? Yeah, I've been itching to get back. Um, I've been I've been on the sidelines for a little little too while now, so selfishly it feels so good to be back and competing. Um, but on the other hand, like I'm competing for the team. I'm not just competing for myself. Um, so it's great to get some wins this weekend. That's for sure. I'm sure that you probably love it as a team when you have two consecutive complete game efforts from your starting pitchers but for the the relievers I would imagine that you want to get some work in as well so you were one of the few who did get an opportunity I think there was just three relievers this entire series the guys that don't get that opportunity you said that was you last week what do you do to stay sharp even if you're not on the mound yeah so this past week um in our midweek a lot of us got to throw one inning just to get that work in um otherwise sometimes we'll we'll do some inner squads in, in the middle of the week uh just so guys can get some reps in uh, and feel what a game is like and not, not get rusty. Where do you go from here? What's next for you personally? Uh, tomorrow, 18 rounds of golf. Uh, or 18 holes, not rounds. I was going to say 18 yeah. rounds <laughs> is a long day. 18 holes of golf. Um, but then right back to work the next day. Um, I'm, I'll tell you what, I'm going to feel this tomorrow. So we got to take care of the arm. That's right. Lastly, uh, Seton Hill's riding a pretty good hot streak here. From your perspective, what has been the biggest key on this run? Our energy. Um, today it lacked a little bit, I feel like. Um, but once everyone is, is bought in, they're on the bus, um, everyone's locked in, uh, everyone feeds off of everyone, you know, offense to defense to pitching. Um, if we can all stay locked in, we'll be good to go. Certainly you were locked in today, Ian. Uh, congrats on this. Gl so glad to see you back out there pitching multiple innings Thank and you. go enjoy this one. I appreciate it. All right, appreciate that is it. Ian Korn of Seton Hill.